Hello, everybody. Welcome to your total body microformer workout. You are going to need, you don't need bars today, but you are going to need your black cables for this one. And then you'll want to have a mat on the floor at the back near your back platform. So cables and a mat. We're going to get started with some center core here. You're going to start with two black springs in some arm assisted crunches. So just make sure that your head is kind of far away from your back platform so that you don't hit it. Knees and table tap. Arms are going to be straight. Make sure you're in the center of your space and we're just going to crunch. Ready? Three. Ready? Two. And let's do it. So knees and tabletop to start. Exhale, crunch. Head, neck, and shoulders come up. And then inhale, lower head, neck, and shoulders land down. Arms stay straight. Really plug your low back into the mat. Knees are just going to stay in tabletop for now. Good. If you feel kind of wacky, just make sure you're in the center of your space. You're crunching up so high that the backs of your arms tap the mat, right? We're going to get your abs taken care of first, then your arms. Good. And then your first oblique, your first leg, your second oblique, your second leg, and then a little finisher. Good. Let's go 30 seconds and we're going to add the legs here. We're just taking our time here, just getting the crunch going. Only if it feels okay for your low back, are you going to extend the legs out and down to 45 degrees? Beautiful. We're there in three. Two, arms stay straight. And now exhale, crunch, extend your legs out to 45 degrees. Look at the toes. And then slowly melt down into knees over hips, tabletop, arms straight. Good. Exhale, push the low back into the mat, extend. Belly button down. And then bend the knees and head comes down. Got it. We'll rest the head, neck, and shoulders pretty soon here. Let's just keep crunching and extending. Beautiful. In five, head is going to stay down. We're just going to do leg drops. In four, three, two, head down, push into the cables so they're over your chest so the upper abs are engaged. You could go one leg at a time or both legs at the same time, drop down, and then really, really slowly bring the feet right back up. Good. Slight bend of the knees if you need to. Again, I'm pushing into my cables so that my upper abdominals are lit up while I drop the legs. Amazing. Let's go 20 seconds. And then we're just going to reverse this crunch. So legs will go out first, arms and Frankenstein. And then when you crunch, you'll pull your knees into your forehead and kind of curl up into a little ball. We're there in five. Good. Reverse crunch in four, three, two. And now crunch up into a tight ball, knees into forehead. And then head comes down, legs go out to 45. Yes, let's go another 60 seconds here, then we're going to get into some planking. We're going to do a bear pike to plank combo all over your machine. And then a wheel and a saw all over your machine. Good. 
Good, give me 10 more seconds at that reverse crunch. We are gonna do those leg drops again to finish. Head down in three, two, head down. Good, now just the legs. Beautiful. And just the legs lift up, awesome. Let's go 20 seconds, friends. One black spring, put your cables on the carriage so that they're not dragging on the floor. We've got your giant bear pike to plank combo. We're there in four. Beautiful. In three, two, awesome. So one last spring. Knees are going to be on, or sorry, toes are going to be on your back platform. Hands on the carriage. Starting with that giant position first. So at the back, facing the front. You've got a bear and a pike to plank. Ready? 45 seconds in that. In three, two, let's do it. So bend your knees in. Good, that's bear. Kick your legs out. And now keeping the arms and legs straight, pike. Take your time. 30 seconds, then knees come down. Hands stay up. We've got a wheelbarrow for 30, saw 30. So this is our combo that we're gonna do on all four parts of the machine. Good, we're down to the knees. Keep your hands where they're at. In eight. Nice, in four, three, two. Let's go, knees down, hands stay up. Giant wheel, ready? Three, two. Just the hand shift forward of the shoulders. Just the hand shift back, nice. Fifteen seconds here, you do the same motion you're doing on the hands right now, but on the elbows. In five, elbows down, same thing in four, three, Two elbows down, same thing. Just the elbow shift forward, just the elbow shift back. We're gonna come to the front. At the front, you could stay on one block or you could go zero springs harder. We're gonna do that bear pike to plank at the front now. 45 seconds there, then 30 in a wheel, 30 in a saw. In four. Three, two, let's do it. Again, keep the light spring. We're good to zero. Ready, three, two, 45 seconds. Bend the knees in. Keep the legs out. And then pike your hips up. Thirty seconds, knees come down, hands stay up for your wheel. Awesome, everybody. We're down to the knees. Stay up on the hands in eight. In five, four, three, two. Knees down, hands up, and wheel. Little bit in the elbows to protect your joints here. No locked out situations. 15 seconds, elbows come down, you do the same thing. Nice, in four, three, two elbows down, same soft. Shift the shoulders back, shift the shoulders forward, good. So we'll do the same thing, but now at the front, facing the back. So reverse bear pike to plank. Abs should definitely be getting warm here, folks. Let's go in 10. And we got a little bit of everything for your legs today, kind of wild. In three, two, let's do it. So turn around, toes on the front platform, hands on the carriage, ready. 
Bear pipe to plank. Hit it. Bend your knees in. Kick your legs out. And then pipe the hips up. 30 seconds to go. Knees down, hands up, reverse wheel. In 15. Good. In five. Knees stay down or come down. In four. Three, two. Knees down. Hands up. Reverse wheel. Fifteen seconds, elbows down, knees stay down. You know what to do, it's that saw. We're there in four. Good, in three, two, elbows and knees, friends, saw out. Pull the belly button up and in, saw in. Good, really tuck the tailbone under. Work the angle so you feel that center core, especially as you pull the elbows back in. 15 seconds, you got one more bear pipe to plank. At the back, facing the back, make sure you're on one black before you head back there. Hands on the back platform in three, two, let's do it. So hands on back platform, toes on carriage. Ready, three, Two, and go, pike it up, extend it out, and then bend the knees in, kick it out. 30 seconds, you're in your last minute of center core. You got the wheelbarrow and the saw. Then we're gonna head into some one arm stuff. We'll do one exercise with both arms at the same time. And then the other arm. Good. Knees come down, hands stay up in eight. In five, four, three, two. Knees down, hands up. Amazing. Let's go 20 seconds. Elbows come down. For your saw. And then you're going to stay on that one black spring. So we're going to do a one arm reverse fly. Elbows come down in three, two elbows down, saw. Stay on one black. You're going to grab the cable on your right. You're going to put it in your right hand. You're going to turn to face the left side of the room though. You'll be bent over standing for a one-arm reverse fly. That's why we want to keep it on that one black. However, if you want more weight, you go two black, no problem. In four, we stand up. In three, two, stand it up. Good job, four is done. Keep that one black. Grab the cable closest to the side of the machine you're on. You can have the hard cable in your hand to make it harder or the foot strap to make it easier. You're going to be bent over pretty close to your back platform. Right arm has a little bend in it. Bent over, one arm reverse fly. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Open that right arm out to the side and then simply bring the right hand down the line of center of chest. And then scoot towards the springs to make it easier. Scoot away from the springs harder. Foot strap easier, hard cable harder. Bent over position so you're working against gravity, working the back of the right shoulder as you raise that straightish right arm out to the side. You're not bending and straightening at the elbow, you're just raising the arm out and then lowering it down. Good, let's hold this up in three, two, hold it up for eight. Not easy, in six, back to full range, in five, four, 
three, two, back to full range. Good. 30 seconds here. You're going to keep this cable, or actually grab the other one. That's a better angle. You're going to grab the other cable. You're going to kind of sit on your left hip a little bit, get cozy. Left elbow will be down on the platform for a one arm tricep extension. You're kind of going to sit like a mermaid. Other cable in the right hand. Keep the one black spring in four, three, two, awesome. So other cable, right hand. You're gonna sit near your back platform on your left hip. You're gonna come down to your left elbow. You kinda have to find your angle. It kinda looks like you're gonna block the sun, okay? You're gonna bend with my palm up to the sky, my elbow over the shoulder. You're gonna bend and extend, ready? Find that angle for the right tricep. Just once you find the angle you want to put your elbow at, keep it there. Keep the wrist straight and strong. Really lean into that supporting left elbow. Get cozy. And just bend my right knuckles. Kind of come to my forehead. Shoulder stays out of the ear. And then extend. It's kind of like a tricep situation. Go 60 seconds, and you're going to go two black, both cables in your hands. Hard cables harder, foot straps easier. You could sit on the platform if you're shorter. If you're taller, you'll need to sit on the floor. We're going to do some chest with a tree under. You're going to feel this one in your right tricep and also your shoulder. Good. Just go really slow on the descent. 20 seconds. Ooh, it gets sticky at the end. Put on another black, both black cables in your hands. I'm going to turn away from you guys. Seated on the floor, cross legged or sitting on your heels for a one or both arm tree hugger. We're there in four. Good. In three, two. Awesome. So one arm, or not one arm, one arm. Same one arm. Because we've been doing one arm. Okay, two black. I'm going to grab the foot straps here. Turn around. Sit anywhere you need to sit. Make sure you're centered. And now you're going to hug your tree. Ready? Three. Sit up tall. Two for the chest. And go. Remember, you scoot up, it makes it harder, heavier. Scoot back makes it lighter. Exhale, hug your tree. And then inhale, pull your arms, your straightest arms out to the sides. Keep them in your peripheral. You don't want to lose sight of them. Hands land in front of the center of the chest. And then you pull the arms apart. Good. We're going to hold the arms out to the sides of the room, making little circles going inwards. We're there in five, just tiny circles. Four, three, two, out to the side and make little circles. Ooh, yeah. Ten seconds, you're going to go the other way. In five, four, three, two, now other way, circle. Good. We're going to go back to the tree hugger in eight, three and four, three, two, back to the tree hugging. Let's go. 30 seconds. And then you're going to go right into that other arm, starting with that reverse fly. So keep the cable that's in the left. One black spring standing. We're there in 15. Yes, friends, in eight. In four, three, two, awesome. So drop the cable on the right. 
We're going to drop it down to one black string. Standing up, left cable, foot strap easier, hard cable harder in the left hand. You're bent over and you're going to raise that left arm out to the side. Let's go out to the side, reverse fly, and then down in line with the center of your chest. Just make sure you're bent over. Left arm stays the same shape as you open and as you close. Really initiating from the rear delt, back of the shoulder. Let's go 15 seconds and you got your hold. In five, you hold it up. Four, three, two, now hold it up for eight. Good, in six, back to full range. In four, three, two, back to full range. Woo. We got one more arm exercise. One arm here for that tricep extension. You'll grab the other cable. Sit like a mermaid on your right hip. We're there in 20. Then we're going to get into your left oblique and then your left leg and then your right oblique, right leg. We'll kind of be all over the machine for legs today, just a warning. In four, you take a seat. Three, two, other cable, take a seat. Foot strap easier, hard cable harder. Put it in the left hand. Kind of sit like a mermaid, right elbow down, left palm up to the sky, elbow stays over the shoulder. Ready, go. Kind of have to find the angle that feels right for your shoulder here. I like my knuckle to my forehead and then I extend. This one gets progressively harder as you go, so don't be shocked. Just try to keep the elbow frozen wherever you've placed it. And keep the left wrist straight and strong while you're at it, right? Let's go 60 seconds. We'll stay on that one black spring. Awesome, everybody. We're going to start with a giant teaser. We'll be in a giant teaser for 45 seconds, and we'll be in a giant twisted wheel for 45. Giant twisted saw, giant twisted crunch. Then we're going to do a one-sided a one mountain climber, and that's your oblique set. Everything is 45 seconds long, but the mountain climber will be a minute. Keep the one black, turn around to face the front and the back. Left foot over right foot on the platform in three, two. Awesome, good job with those arms, guys. So one black spring. Hands are gonna be on the carriage. Left foot crosses over the right foot on your platform. Size of your feet, ready, three, two. It's 45 seconds. Let's go. Giant teaser, just a tiny pipe is all you need here. Beautiful. Let's go 30 seconds. Then right knee is going to stack on top of the left knee. We're going to go for a giant twisted wheel. In 10. You got it in five, four, three, two, right knee on top of left knee. Now just the hand shift forward. Just the hand shift back. Even though your knees are twisted, really square the shoulders to the front. Feel that left waist as you pull your hands in.
15 seconds, elbows come down. You do the same motion on your elbows. In eight. Good, in four, three, two, elbows down. Ready, three, two, let's saw forward and saw back. Try not to dump down too far into the left hip here. In 15 seconds, you're going to turn this into a crunch. Just a crunch. Honestly, the smaller you make it, the more you're going to feel it. You don't have to bring your elbows all the way into the knees. Keep it small. In three, two, keep it small. And now crunch. Look at your left waist. And then come on out. Look at your hands. Good. Chin to chest. Round it up. Crunch. 30 seconds, you're going to hop over to the left side of your machine from your perspective right now. Turn to face the back, it'll become the right. Left foot can kind of hook in the rail, or it could be on the carriage. It's really however you want to have your left foot. But you're just going to be hand on the floor, and the right foot on the floor and plank. Left foot on the carriage for a one-sided one mouth requirement. In three. Two, let's do it. This is the one that's one minute, right? So turn around, face the back, hands on the floor. You're going to hook your left foot in the eyelid if you want, or on the carriage. It's whatever. Hands on the floor, right foot on the floor, get into a plank. And now turn your left knee kind of out to the side and bend the left knee into the left elbow and then kick it down. Yeah, scoot up if you need it. Keep your butt down, shoulders over the wrist. And you're just kind of turning your knee out. I have the foot hooked in the rail, so I can kind of turn my knee out. Feel that left waist. You guys have 35 seconds here. And then we're gonna get started in that left leg. Starting with a reverse giant floor lunge, keep the one black spring. Left foot goes over to the other side of the machine on the floor. Right foot hooks in the rail. We're there in 10. Good, everybody. Last five. Four, three, two, let it go. Make sure your cables aren't dragging anywhere. I'm dragging is crazy. Okay, we're good. So left foot is going to be over to the left of your back platform on the floor. Right foot hooks in the rail. Step your left foot up in line with that back platform. And now we're going all the way down, all the way up in three, two, and hit it. Down into your reverse floor lunge. Slowly, slowly, slowly slide it up. If you're hitting the front platform, it's a good indicator that you got to Step up a little bit. Let's go 15 seconds and we're going to hold pulse, hold pulse, hold pulse at the bottom. In four, at the bottom, in three, two, hold it. Hip over knee. Good. Maybe a slight tilt forward of the upper body. In four, you're going to pulse. Three, two, now pulse it up two inches, down two. Good. Up two, down two, that's it. Back to the hold in three, two, hold it again. 
Knee over ankle. Back to the pulse in three, two, pulse it up two, down two. Good, one more round at the bottom, hold in three, two, hold it. Good, you have one more pulse in four, three, two, pulse it up two, down two. That's it, friends. We're going to go back to full range of motion here in five, four, three, two, all the way up slow, Woo, all the way down. This one works fast. 20 seconds, we hold it down, we go carriage kicks. Then we're going to get into a super lunge where you're going to have on two black and you're going to have your black cables. In eight, at the bottom, right knee bends in, right leg kicks out straight. In four, three, two, hold at the bottom. And now bend your right knee in. Kick your right leg out. Keep the left knee frozen over the ankle. We're going two black. Left foot is going to be on the back platform. Right foot on the floor. Black cables in your hands. We're there in five. Yes, let it burn in four. Three, two, awesome. Let it go. Two black springs. Grab the black cable. And you want to grab the area, I would say, right below the actual cables themselves. So three ringers, three fingers, three ringers or in that little loop below the cables so that your cables are tight enough, okay? Three fingers. Left foot is gonna be on your back platform. Right foot's gonna be on the floor. Really ground down through the left foot that's elevated. That's your working leg. 90, 90 to start for that hover row. Ready, three, two, let's go. So hover and row. Flipped my hair back a little too fast. There you go. 90, 90. Pull the elbows back, extend the arms forward. You're going to pull them back and dip it in three, two. Pull them back, hold it back. Now dip your right knee down a little, up a little. Good. Back to the hover row in four, three, two. Hover the knee, row the arms. Good, you're going back to the dip in four, three, two, pull the elbows back, dip it down, lift it up. Good, we'll go full range of motion in eight, in four, three, two, extend the arms at the bottom, two bent knees. Good, and then row the arms at the top. Two straightish legs. Really push down a lot through that grounded left foot on your platform. Yes. Take your time. Make sure your right foot is back far enough, but not too far back. We're going to go back to the hover row, back to the dip, hover row dip. And then we're going to go zero springs for a facing out stationary lunge curtsy dip combo. You have to be on zero springs for this next one. In four, hover row. In three, two, hold it at the bottom, and now just row your arms. Good, in five, elbows pull back, dips. Four, three, two, elbows pull back, dip it down a little, up a little. Eight seconds, you're back to the hover row. Good, in four, three, two, hover, row. One more set of dips. In four, 
Good. Three, two, pull them back, dip it down, lift it up. Awesome. Zero springs. It doesn't matter what side of the machine you're on, whatever side you have the most space, zero springs. In three, two, awesome. So it has to be zero for this to work. Get your cables on the carriage out of your way. Start with your carriage in the center of your machine from end to end. I'm going to be on this side since I have more space. Left foot on the floor. That's your working leg. Right toes back somewhere on the carriage. Okay? Okay. Now you're going to come down into 90-90. Swing your right foot over to the left so you're in a curtsy. Three dip curtsy pulse. Come back to center. Stand up. Follow me. Ready? Three, two, you'll get it. So two bent knees come down. And then swing your right foot all the way over to that front platform or wherever you're at. Dip it one, curtsy. Dip it two. Dip it three. And then you use your abdominals, swing the right knee underneath of the hip. Come all the way up to two straightish legs. And then come down two bent knees. Swing it over. Gotta take your time with this one. One, two, really pull the right hip forward, left hip back. Three, this is the hard part. Swing the right knee underneath of your hip. Center yourself and then come up. Woo, you got 45 seconds. I'm already shaking. Gotta go slow with this one. Because the carriage has nothing on it, so it's just going to be all over the place if you don't. Three curtsy dips. Abs tight. Pull the right knee back underneath of your hip first, and then stand it up. Woo! 15 seconds. We're just going to do the stationary lunge. So two bent knees, you'll come all the way up, all the way down. In four, just a stationary lunge. Three, two, so pull the right knee underneath of your hip. Knee over ankle on the left, all the way down. All the way up. Good. All the way down. Remember, you might have to step your left foot out or in as needed. All the way up. Perfect. We're just going to swing the right foot all the way over to the left and just do curtsy dips. All the way down, all the way up. In three, two. Now swing your right foot all the way over to the left. Let it get hit by that platform all the way down here, all the way up. Good. Again, adjust your feet as needed. Pull the right hip forward, left hip back. Ground down with that front inner left foot. Let's go 10 seconds. We finish in full range with the combo. In five, four, Three, two, pull the right knee underneath of your hip. Stand it up. Yes, come on down. Swing it over. Three dips, good. One dip, two dip, three dip. So you could stay on zero springs for extra challenge or come to one black spring. We're gonna do a, an escalator lunge series. You're gonna do a normal escalator, low escalator, normal, low, Normal, low. We're there in four. Good, everybody. Three, two, let's do it. So you're at the front, facing the back. Left foot is going to be on the carriage, right foot on the platform. Okay, for your first 30 seconds, it's normal. Then we'll have our right foot down to the floor, make it low. In three, two, very different tension there. Let's go. Lean into that front left leg, come down. Good, and then push down through the left foot to come up. That's it. 10 seconds, you're gonna do the same thing. But your right tiptoes are gonna be on the floor behind your front platform. You wanna keep your heel elevated in three, two. Now you will not be able to stand up all the way. So it's going to feel a little awkward. Come down and then let your carriage hit your front platform. Keep the heel high though. You're getting a little calf work. 
See how this changes the burn a little bit. Gotta push down through that left foot. Try not to drop the back right heel. You're gonna put the right toes back on the platform in three, two, right toes back up. Feel the difference. Now you're really grateful for the platform. All the way down, all the way up. Remember with this lunge, if you need something to balance, grab it. Good, in eight, right foot goes behind you again, in six, five, four, three, two, right foot behind you again. Keep the heel high, and now lean in. You won't be able to straighten that left leg out as much as you want. 20 seconds, we have one more round up and down, and then we go one minute in walker to finish off that left leg. Then we're gonna go into your right oblique. In five, right foot up. Four, three, two, right foot up. All the way down, square the hips. Push down a lot through that left foot to come up. Yes. One more time with your right foot on the floor. Then we'll put the right foot back on the platform. We'll do a one minute moon walker to finish this out. In four, three, two, right foot on the floor. Let's go. Awesome, 20 seconds. Right knee will bend in, right leg will kick out. Last 60 seconds of your left leg in three, moonwalker in two, and step it up. Woo, hello bounce, ready? One minute moonwalker, and hit it. Bend your right knee in, and then kick your right leg out. Awesome, you're gonna be on one black, friends. We're gonna start that right oblique with that giant teaser at the back facing the front. Sit a little lower in the meantime, kick a little slower, let's go 30 seconds. At the back, facing the front. We're there in 15. Nice, in 10. You got it. Five, four, three, two. Awesome, friends. Woo! Left leg is shaking. All right, one last spring. Hands on the carriage. This time, right foot. Crosses over your left foot. Ready, three, two, it's 45 seconds, let's go. Exhale, plank it, inhale, extend it. Twenty-five seconds, left knee stacks on top of the right knee for that twisted wheel. In 10. Good, you got five, four, three, two. Left knee on top of right knee. Twisted wheel, ready. Just those hands shift forward. Just the hands shift back. Try not to jump down into the right hip too much. Square the shoulders to the front. You have 30 seconds and elbows come down. In 
innate and four, three, two, elbows down, same motion on your elbows. Ready, hit it. You're gonna go into that crunch in about 15 seconds. Just the elbows crunch into the knees. Remember, it doesn't need to be big for you to feel that right waist. We're there in 10. In five, four, three, two. Now round it up, look at your right waist. And then come on out, look at your hands. Beautiful, let's go 30 seconds. You're gonna hop over to the right side of your machine from your current view. But if you turn around and face the back, it's the left side of your machine. Right foot hooks in the eyelet or in the center of the carriage, however. We got that one-sided mountain climber. We're there in eight. Good, in five, four, three, two, awesome. Ooh, all right. So just turn around. My uh, timer got a little stuck in my springs. Give me a second, guys. You gotta watch out, huh? Ooh. Ooh, it really got stuck. You get a little water break. <laughs> Good. Good. So hands are going to be on the floor. I can make this out. Hands on the floor and your right foot is going to be on the rail. Guys, give me one second. Just take a little water break. I'll be right back. Not going to be able to do it without the timer. The timer out. You guys are like, what is going on? All right. You got it. You got it. Oh, sorry about that, friends. All right, last thing on the oblique here, hands on the floor, right foot in the rail, turn your knee out to get that angle deeper in your right oblique, and now bend your right knee up and in, and then kick it down. Yeah, keep the butt down. Awesome, and have your right knee kind of turned out. Hook it however you need to hook it. Let's go 40 seconds, you come over to the right side of your machine, right foot on the floor. Left foot in the eyelet. You got that reverse giant floor lunge. That's how we start your right leg. We're there in 20. Beautiful. In 15. Over to the right. In 10. You got it. In five, four, three, two. Let's do it. Right leg. Woo. And then after your right leg, we'll do a quick finisher. Remember, you can always make the workout shorter by skipping a section. That's why I try to do the time stamps with the longer workouts. Ready, guys? Three, two, and lunge. All the way down, right knee to right ankle. Push down through that right foot, come on up. Adjust your feet as needed. Remember, if you're hitting the front platform, you need to step up just a bit.
So 20 seconds, we got a hold, pulse, hold, pulse, hold, pulse at the bottom. Ooh, hello, balance. In eight. At the bottom, you hold in four, three, two, hold at the bottom, knees over the ankle. Good. And now push down through the right foot, pulse it up two, down two, that's it. Up two, down two, back to the hold in three, two, hold it. Good, good, you're going back to the pulse in four, three, Two, now pulse it up two inches, down two. Yes, five seconds, you're back to the hold again in four, three, two, back to the hold again. You got another pulse in four. One more, three, two, pulse it up two inches, down two, that's it friends. Eight seconds, you go full range of motion all the way up, all the way down in five, four, Three, two, all the way down, all the way up. Ooh, we got those carriage kicks coming up. In 20 seconds, you'll hold it at the bottom. Left knee will bend in, left leg will kick out. In eight. Beautiful, in four. Three, two, hold at the bottom. And now bend your left knee in, kick your left leg out, good. Two black springs, you got that super lunge. Black cables in your hands, remember three fingers, go through those like loops below the cables, okay? Otherwise it's gonna feel funky. We're there in five, four, Three, two, let's do it. Super lunge. Again, your hands are not in the cables. They are three fingers through those loops. Right foot's going to be on your back platform. It's elevated. Left foot behind you on the mat. Starting in that hover row first. Ready for. Two bend knees, three, two, let's go. Hover row. In four, you pull the elbows back, little dips. In three, two, pull your elbows back. And now dip it down a little. Push down, lift up a little, good. Eight seconds, back to your hover row. In four, three, Two, hover, and row. One more set of dips before we go full range in three, two, pull your elbows back, dip it down a little, up a little, nice. Eight seconds, you go full range of motion. In four, three, Two, full range, extend the arms to the bottom, and then row the elbows up at the top. Nice, two bent knees at the bottom. Push down through that front right foot. Two straightish legs at the top as you pull your elbows back. 35 seconds, we'll go back to those intervals again. Hover, row, dip, hover, row, dip. Then we'll do that zero spring situation for that stationary curtsy dip combo. Remember, it doesn't matter what side of the machine you're on, it's whatever side you have the most space on. In five, hover, row. Four, three, two, hover the back knee, row the arms. Yes, 10 seconds, you pull the elbows back for those dips. In four, 
three, two, pull them back, dip it down a little, up a little, good. Eight seconds, back to the hover rope. In four, three, two, back to the hover rope. Ten, you got one more set of dips. In five, four, three, two, oh, pull it back. Dip it down a little, up a little, good. Zero springs. In four, three, two, awesome guys. Get the cables out of your way. Back. I'm just gonna take them off. Why not? Just take them off. You don't need them anymore. All right. The carriage has to start over the center of your machine from end to end. Right foot is out this time. Left foot back wherever. Come down into 90 90. Ready? Three, two, you come down. Swing your back left leg. It's a lot of core here. Over to the right. And now dip it. One. Dip it. Two. You're in a curtsy. Dip it. Three. Use the abdominals. You got to go slow with this one. Pull the left knee underneath of your hip. And then come all the way up. All the way down. Knee over ankle. Check it out. Swing. Ooh, hello. Dip it, one, dip it, two, dip it, three. Pull it in and stand it. Yes, let's go 45 seconds. Then we're just going to do the stationary lunge. And then just the curtsy stationary. And we'll go back to full range. And then you got that crazy escalator lunge set. Little finisher. See ya. Awesome, everybody. In 10, meet me in the 90-90 normal for just the stationary lunge. In four, three, Two, 90, 90, keep the carriage still. It's all the way down, all the way up. Good, again, step the right foot out if you need to so that your right knee's over your ankle. Beautiful, you're gonna do the same thing you're doing now, but in that curtsy, so left foot will swing all the way over to the right. In four, good, three, Two, now swing the left foot all the way over to the stop, to the right, all the way down, all the way up. And again, adjust your feet as needed. Pull the right hip forward, left hip back. Ground down to the inside of your right foot. 15 seconds, we go back to full range with the whole combo. In eight, four, Three, two, sit low. Back to 90-90. Stand it up. Come on down. Swing it over. Three curtsy dips. One dip. Two dip. Three dip. Awesome. 15 seconds. You can keep zero springs. Extra challenge. One black. Standard. We got that escalator low. Escalator low. Escalator low, little walker in three, two, let's go. Woo! Last four minutes of legs, everybody. Left foot starts on the platform first. Right foot stays in the carriage the whole time, obviously. Ready, three. Left heel high, no matter where the foot is. Two, let's go. 30 second intervals here. Normal escalator, low, normal, low, normal, low. Finish in that moon walker. Take your time. 
In eight, you're carefully going to step your left foot back behind you onto the floor. Keep the heel high. In three, two, low escalator. You can come down a lot, but you won't be able to stand up as much as you would like to. But try to touch the carriage to the platform. You're getting some calf activation on that left side too. Really push down into the right foot to come up. Eight seconds, left foot goes back up. In four, three, two, left foot goes back up. In 10. Awesome. In five, four, three, two, left foot back on the floor. Heel high. Down. Come on up. One more time on each, guys, and you got that moonwalker to finish. You can finish class there, or we just got a real quick finisher. That's fun. Always fun. In five, left foot back up to the platform. One more time in four, three, two. Give me that normal escalator. Let's go. We got one more time in the low. In 10. Nice. In five, four, three, two, left foot back behind you. Keep the heel high. Let's go. 30 seconds here. Then left foot steps back up to the platform. We've got a one minute moonwalker. Then you guys are going to finish or you do a quick finisher with me. In 15. Yes, it's getting shaky for me for sure. In eight. Beautiful. In four, three, two, hello, balance right at the end. Let's go. Hold it low on the right. Bend that back left knee in. Kick that back right leg out. Yes. Both feet are going to be on the floor for a burpee with a push-up. We're going to go fast for 45 seconds, burpee with a push-up. Then we'll do a reverse bear wheel for 30. Back to the burpee for 45, reverse bill, bear wheel 30, then you're done. Good. If you're finishing right here, congrats. You have 30 seconds left. Ooh, mama. Bend it in, kick it out. Let's go last 15. Hands on the carriage, feet on the floor. Join me for that burpee with a push-up. It's fast. We're there in eight. Beautiful. In five, four, three, two. Amazing. All right. Ready? Burpee with a push up in three, two. Extend out. Push up. Bend your knees through that squat. Hands overhead. Reach. Let's go. Woo. Just getting the blood pumping right here at the end. Why not? Feels good. 30 seconds. You're going to hold your feet wide or together. It's up to you. Just keep the knees bent underneath of the hips. Essentially, it's a wheelbarrow in a bare hold. We're there in 15. Good. In 10. Feet wide on the floor, feet together. Up to you. Five, four, three, two. Feet wide or feet together. Bend the knees, hover them. And now just the hand shift forward, just the hand shift back. So you're creating a table. Yes, with your back. It's small. 15 seconds, we go back to the burpee. In 10. In five, four, three, two, land the heels. Woo, reach your 
reach up. Awesome. As fast or as slow as you need to go. Let's go 30 seconds, everybody. Last 30 seconds of class. We're in that bare wheel. You got it. In 15. Nice, in 10. Last 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, pull the knees under, keep them under, just the hand shift forward, just the hand shift back. This is it, guys. You've got 20 seconds left. Last 15. Last 10. Good, you got four, three, two, woo! Amazing work, everybody. I will see you when I see you next. Good job.